Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got right on my chalkboard and cowabunga, I'm going to do a gradient stamped. I have started off with Peel Ease, and I've used this essence gel mat called Right on My Chalkboard. Now, this one gave me a little bit of a struggle with the application because, you know, it's a matte polish. And then I topped it off with this Fast and Hard Galactic Unicorn. This was in my polish pickup haul. I will be doing this gradient with this beautiful Cowabunga from Moonshine Manny and a dampened wet little damp sponge. And of course, I'll be using latex because I get messy with gradients. But I figured right on my chalkboard, this light green and this beautiful darker green from Moonshine Manny would go together really nicely. I'm pretty pleased with it. So tap, 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 and I just kind of roll through my fingers, you know, trying to, fingernails, trying to, you know, use as much of that off of the sponge as I can, and then reload and do some more. So... Go. Gotta do some more tapping, patting. But these colors really did build up pretty nice. I didn't have to spend just a whole lot of time on the gradient part. I am showing you all of it, but I have sped this up to about one and a half speed because um, you know, since it is gradient and stamping, I didn't want the video to be just too long. Um, I did want to show you that, you know, I just keep going over them, round and round, round we go. And you just do this until you're happy with the opacity, happy with how the gradient looks. And, you know, sometimes you can get away with one pass or two passes with the sponge, but, you know, it's just all about preference. Of course, I'm being picky. I'm kind of looking. I do take the sponge sometimes and do this little trick right here just to make sure my caps also have that, you know, end color kind of wrapped around the nail. You know, it, just some of that funny stuff that Tina does when she's, you know, laying nails. I'm trying to figure out which one to start with. Tap, tap, tap. Ta, ta, ta. Here we go. I really do like these two colors together though. I thought that they went really nice. And once I top coat it, you're gonna see how pretty it is. But we're gonna have to do some cleanup first. So I'm peeling off this liquid latex and I'm trying a trick that one of my friends suggested and that's just using a piece of tape and kind of grabbing the latex. And it does pretty good. Kind of better than fighting with the tweezers. Um, I'm still going to have to do some regular cleanup, but that's expected when I do gradients. But the tape trick worked. You guys know I love me some tape, so, <laughs> you know, tape here is not very expensive, so it's it's nice to have a, you know, a tool like that that you can just use that's not going to break the bank. And I'm sorry my camera's acting up. It's a little blurry. I think I've dialed it in too tight. And, um... I do have some good news. I've bought a new tripod, and um, with it, I will be able to, you know, hopefully get better quality videos. I'll be able to set the camera up and leave it instead of trying to move it around all the time. That's my tidying up there with the acetone and my cleanup brush. And I have not forgotten to do the brush video. I will do that on my all these cleanup brushes I've bought to try. So we're going to top this with some quick dry top coat from Pro FX, and it just when you put that top coat on, it just smooths everything out, and those colors just blend in so nicely. I always love this part. This is one of my favorite parts of doing gradients because it looks like a hot mess until you add that top coat, and then it just it's like oh yes. But back to what I was saying, I am still planning on doing a video for all of those cleanup brushes that I have been buying trying to find my new Holy Grail cleanup brush since mine has been discontinued. And I think I've got some promising ones in the batch, in the bunch, so we'll see. You guys know I'm playing catch up after missing, so we will get to everything. I've got a long list of things to do and they'll get done. It just might take longer than I wanted it to.
but you know this is one of those manicures right here that you could just stop right there and wear it just like that amazing all on its own but we gonna stamp I'm gonna be using my bundle monster monocle stamper and this beauty big bang black stamping polish and my fabric nail scraper and this is you are beautiful 13 which will be the next plate in the giveaway series of my sneaky giveaways can't believe we're already at plate 13 that's just cool 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 and I'm using a corner image so it's taking some extra scraping to get you know get all that excess polish off <clears throat> excuse me and I am cleaning that plate off with pure acetone um, in between each image I just thought this image would look groovy over this. You know, kind of got a 70s wild vibe going on. Some bright colors and some circles. I do like it. There we go. Oh, and back to the You Are Beautiful giveaways. Um, yep, they're sneaky. They're, you know, they're definitely subscriber thank you kind of um, giveaways because you have to be a subscriber and you have to, you know, watch and leave comments on videos because you never know which video I'm going to pick. It's always going to be kind of a recent video. I'm not ever going to go like back into the archives, but you just don't know which video it's going to be. And I just feel like that's really fair to my loyal friends and subscribers that you know, y'all are always supporting me and watching me and commenting, and I just wanted to find a way to give back to you guys without, you know, having to give to everybody, because when you announce giveaway, they all come out of the woodwork. You get people that you've never seen, never will see again, and I really have enjoyed doing it this way. So I'm going in with some tape, and I'm trying to use some different tape, because for whatever reason, this black did not want to come up this go-around. I'm having to actually break out a Q-tip with some acetone. This was just nasty. Now, I'm telling you, I've never had this much trouble with any of my Stampin' Polishes getting them off the skin, but woof, I don't know if I let it dry too long. I did get distracted while I was doing this, and that might be the reason, because I let it dry all the way down, but it's all good. So here we go with our last top coat, and I'll be topping this one with Posh. And there were some areas where I didn't scrape so good and I've got lines through my design, but I'm totally fine with it because these were so busy that nobody noticed. You'll notice maybe in the swatch photo, but nobody noticed. There we go. Digging it. Here is that swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.